Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I am going to open up one of these surprise boosters. We've seen them actually before on the channel. This one was bought at the Paladins of the North Cup held in Groningen. And uh, it was a fantastic event. I've got here, oops, here we go. I got here a little uh, USB stick full of exciting matches of that tournament. They will be coming to the channel very, very soon. Um, but I also was able to pick up this booster pack. And the cool thing is um, we've seen them before at some tournaments. I've opened a surprise booster pack before and um, they did it again here for the Pelons of the North Cup in Groningen. The way these things work is uh, you pay 25 euros for these and usually you can only get one per participant. And they're really ideal for people who are just starting up their old school collection or for old school magic addicts like myself who wanna have that kind of that feeling of cracking a pack, uh, but still kind of knowing that the cards inside here are going to be useful. Um, so yeah, I'm just hoping for the best. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let me, let me open this up and let's see what we can get. There we go. So I've opened one of these uh, before. There's probably a link popping up right now, an info card where you can see that other one. That was a red booster pack, and I was pretty happy with the contents. And uh, I'm just really excited. Okay, we've got a Davant Archer on this side. If I remember it correctly, there's usually a basic land with these, and with the red booster packs, if you had a blue island, well, obviously it's gonna be island when it's blue, but anyway, you know what I mean? When you have an island basic land, then it uh, was a really good booster. And all the other boosters were also good, by the way, but it was just, if you have an island, it was uh, extremely good. Let me just quickly check where the land is. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, now I know how it works. So this card here, you can see it's double-sided, right? So this is probably uh, the card with the, with the rare or the value card or whatever. So I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna put the nice, beautiful patch over here. Um, yeah, let's just open it. So we've got an archer here. We've got a enchanted, enchanted being. We have a blue card here. We've got gaseous form. We've got another blue card by Jesper Mirforce. I think this is the dark. Yeah, a sunken city. Then we have from Anson Maddox, a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, it's Diabolic War Machine, of course. Oh, it's so cool. So it's not this soldier that's the Diabolic War Machine. It's of course, the machine in the back here. You can see the eyes and the gears and the soldiers just getting completely crushed. And then we have, let's see, Drew Tucker, it's a 2-2. Two, two. This is probably gonna be um, the creature that gets plus two, plus O oh, if it's not blocked, Merc Dwellers. Yep, Merc Dwellers, I do like the art. And then the next one, let's give it a go. So this is Mark Pool, it's an unlimited card. Oh, Howl from Beyond, yep, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful art. Then we've got a Psychic Venom. And the other card, okay, white, it's a 1-1, one, one. Tom Wainerstrand. Did he make the art for Semite Healer or am I saying something really odd? Let's have a look, yeah, Semite Healer. Which is funny, because usually Tom is the one who makes the art with boats on it, so this has no boats. Maybe a nice thing to note is that this kind of looks like a face, the nose, the mouth. That's pretty cool. And then we've got Black by Dan Frazier. Oh, oh, this is um, Gloom. Wow, that is a really good card, really playable. And actually one that I don't have from Unlimited. So this is actually one that uh, I'm not going to trade. This is great, super happy with the Gloom. And we've got Mark Tedden, an O3, I believe. What? Oh, is this a Wall of Wood? Wall of Wood Beta, that's pretty sweet. I love some beta cards. I've got a really nice signed Wall of Wood from the Unlimited, uh, but it's great to have this beta. Wall of Wood, pretty unplayable, right? But still, I mean, it's for one mana, you get three toughness. I just want to try it out. Anyway, we've got another card here. Margaret Organ, oh, is this, um, I think I know what this is. Uh, a card from the dark, 
Oh no, card from Antiquities. I thought it was another one. Amulet of Krug. An Amulet of Krug, a Krug as a city, an Amulet of Krug plays a pretty big role in the Brothers War. So if you ever get a chance to read it, uh, this card will get more meaningful for you, which is also, also why I would recommend people who are into old school magic to take a moment to read some of the old school books because it really en uh, enriches your uh, experience. And okay, okay, this is a foreign card, I think. It's an old one, is an apprentice wizard? Yep, <laughs> that's so funny. It's funny how it's organized. Like I would definitely say that so far, uh, you know, this card is definitely the card for me and this booster. Uh, but okay, an apprentice wizard, and then, okay, okay, okay. So is this also double-sided? That's interesting. So we've got two of these boosters, uh, sorry, of these um, sleeves with double cards in them. I'm just gonna start with this one. Let's have a look. Douglas Schuler, it's black. And old creatures get, oh, marsh gas. Exactly, this is a marsh gas from the dark. And then we've got this one still. Here we go, boom. Whoa, soul ring, sweet. It is a revised soul ring and it's, it's in pretty good condition. Wow, I think I'm actually gonna put this in my revised collection. This is super cool. Wow, this is, oh, it's in a really good condition. Wow. Fantastic, fantastic. Super, super happy with this, amazing. Um, that means I've got a revised soaring up for trade as well because I've already uh, owned a couple, but I'm gonna put this in my revised collection. I think this is the best looking soaring uh, that I have then. Fantastic, really happy, also really nice centering. Great, great, great. And then we've got the last pack. Let's have a look, what could it be? Nene Thomas, it's white. Is it Spirit Link? Target, oh, target creature plus three, plus three. This is the, um, yeah, Divine Transformation. I knew that. Really cool art. Look at her. The only thing here, what I'm missing from this card is, you see her, she's got huge wings now. Why not just give her flying as well? Plus three, plus three and flying. Wouldn't have made this card too good, but it would have made it just a tad bit more useful. So that would have been nice. Um, and then the last one, boom, here we go. And this is a deep water. So definitely if I look at this booster pack, I would say the Divine Transformation, um, the Soul Ring, and for me also the Gloom or definitely the, the three hits in this pack. Uh, it's just a lot of fun to open these. Shout out to uh, Power Nege for, uh, for selling these. Um, and of course, they did that together with um, Kos and Nick and Jasper who organized the Paladins of the North Cup. So thank you guys for that. Really, really great. It was a great tournament, by the way. And like I said, I will have some sweet tournament videos coming up from the Paladins of the North Cup. So keep your focus here on the channel because more content is definitely coming. For now, thank you very much for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic and see you next time. Ik het dus, ik het dus, somba kazee.